Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome to a new vlog. I just kind of wanted to pick up my camera because ever since I got my new camera body, I've been so much more motivated to vlog. If you guys didn't know, I used to film on the Sony a7 III and now I have the Sony a7 S3. This camera body actually has like a flip out screen and I really just like this body. So I'm excited that I kind of did a little bit of an upgrade. I feel like I used to love editing videos, but nowadays I feel like I like filming them better. And honestly, like I've definitely thought about getting an editor just because I feel like that would be so much time that I could gain back into my day. But I feel like for now, at least I take pride in the way I edit. And it's just like so scary to think that somebody else could just even have like raw footage of me. Not that like I do anything crazy, but I guess it's just kind of like a weird thought. And I'm just obviously not used to it because I edit my own stuff. I recently posted a video about my favorite bras and I actually used my makeshift filming setup for the first time. And I'm actually in love with it. I find myself coming here like every day after work and just like filming content around here. I think it's so cute and I feel like these two prints definitely like make the whole space even like grander and just more visually aesthetic and, and these two prints are actually from Desenio which is today's vlog sponsor. Desenio offers trendy and high quality Scandinavian prints like these and they actually sell frames on their website too. I'm pretty sure they actually sell shelves too um, but I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna show you guys up close but these actually have white frames around them. I feel like the adjective that comes to mind is that they just look so luxe. Here's a whole filming background and I swear if you like take these two prints away it would literally just be nothing because it just does not look as good. I don't know if you can tell but this is actually like a muted kind of like mint green and it has this like cool texture that's like a paint texture. Let's see if I can zoom in. Focus, there we go. It's just printed on regular paper, but the texture just shows so well and it looks like it's painted on like some kind of a canvas. I also love that there are matching prints on their site. You could totally buy like one of these just separately, but I went ahead and did two because I thought they would look really good together. And actually my plan is to put them above my couch. Like, so I'm gonna actually hang it up. I'm just kind of waiting on my couch to get here because I don't want any unnecessary holes in the walls. I have one more Desenio print that I wanted to share. It's actually in our master, so let's go over there. This is the master and this is the artwork we chose for this bedroom. Shout out to Ryan because not only did he help me pick this piece of art, but he just hung it up for me, so thanks babe. The size of this art and the frame is bigger than the ones you guys just saw in my office, but I feel like it just ties the space in so well. I feel like I've definitely struggled with decorating this apartment. Like it's taken me so long because I didn't want to use my old dorm decoration. I just wanted something more simple, elegant, and mature, so I'm really glad I found Desenio. I know decorating is super exciting, especially when you do get a new apartment. You just kind of want it like to be done with the snap of your fingers. And Desenio is great for that because they ship to countries worldwide and you can get it within five days if you're in the US. They update their collection of prints very regularly, so it's really easy to find something you'll like. And if you want 10% off, you can use the code Sonali10. I'll have more information about Desenio in the description below. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this vlog. We went to HEB earlier today to get the nails for the picture frame and we got our new favorite snack. Probably, actually definitely not healthy, but these freaking Cheeto things are everything. Like they're better than a hot Cheetos. I don't know why, but they just are. So if you guys have an HEB, I don't, actually no. For some reason I thought these were HEB brands, but I guess not. So if you see them in the grocery store, trust me, they're just better than hot Cheetos. So I'm gonna snack on those for a little bit because I'm freaking hungry and drink my raspberry rose poppy. So cheers. It's 624 and Bachelor in Paradise comes on at 7, which is honestly the best thing about living in Texas because you get Central Standard Time and it ends at 9. And I feel like whenever I was in Georgia watching The Bachelor or in Florida, whenever Bachelor would end at 10, it would just feel like my night's already done with, like I have to go to bed at 10, which isn't really true, but I just felt like I couldn't really do anything after it. But now that it ends at 9, like I feel like I can still be up and like i don't know not that i really do much after it i guess but it just doesn't feel like my night's like over and i like wasted all that time on the freaking show but honestly i love bachelor in paradise a hundred times more than bachelorette and bachelor and i'm kind of mad that we have two bachelorettes because i like the bachelor better i just feel like girl drama is more entertaining than boy drama but we have two bachelorettes this year and Apparently Greg's gonna be the new Bachelor, which honestly, 
Like he doesn't seem like he would be a good fit, but whatever. I did want to open some packages with you guys that I recently got. Um, first one is jewelry from my favorite freaking brand, Goriana. These are from Goriana. And also these hoops that I wear every single damn day. Like I do not remember the last time I took these out, which honestly, I feel like I should switch it up. So I'm going to take them out soon, like for Nola and stuff. But anyways, let's open the package. I told you guys Sophie was being an angel. Well, I jinxed it because she's not being an angel anymore. She was a bad girl. She went through the trash the other day and then she like peed and pooped not on the pee pad. And we took her out and it was just not a fun time. So we're currently not on good terms with each other. I'm trying to be cordial, but she's just being annoying as poop. So, okay. First we have the Venice bracelet. It's like that snake chain that's really trendy. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but that is what it looks like. Then we got a necklace. This is the Venice mini necklace. It's similar to the bracelet, but it's just a little bit skinnier. Also, if you guys are in Austin or are visiting, they actually have a store on South Congress and it's a really cute store, very aesthetic and their jewelry is amazing. I, like I said, literally never take any of it off and it hasn't rusted like a shower. I swim with it. I don't know if I'm really supposed to, but I do. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to NOLA on Thursday and then I get back Sunday and then the next Friday I go to Nashville. I'm going to my first bachelorette party ever. It's gonna be very interesting, but I'll be able to see my college friends, which is gonna be so fun. Like I'm really excited to just see them again and like reunite. The bride was actually our sorority president while I was on exec. And so she is a grade above me, but two of the girls in my PC will be there, including my roommate, Tiffany. She was actually my roommate senior year. We lived in the president suite together because she was also Katie's president at UCF. But quickly, I wanted to show you guys my big adult purchase that I made at like a random hour on Amazon the other day. So let's unbox this thing. It's so big. <laughs> Here we go, the grand reveal. I bought a vacuum, <laughs> and not just any vacuum, the automated ones. So this isn't a Roomba, this is actually a Bissell. This is one of those things that TikTok makes you buy because I've seen so many videos of that um, green Bissell machine that like is for your car seats or like couches and stuff. And it gets like so much of the gunk off, but this is just like a floor vacuum. Now that we actually have hardwood floors, it just gets so dirty so easily. So I was like, okay, maybe it is time to invest in one of these vacuums. And the best part about this one is that it actually mops. So it mops and vacuums. So it's called the Bissell Spinway Robot. I'm gonna set it up probably during Bachelor in Paradise. I kind of want to um, take advantage of the sunlight and maybe film some TikToks. Well, I got some makeup on. Honestly, I've been putting on makeup during the week more than I have, and I have less motivation to film TikToks when I actually have makeup on. Like, how does that even work in my head? I don't even know, but I'm gonna go call my friend Sam and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ryan just got home from golf and I couldn't start Bachelor in Paradise without him, so I waited this long and I'm actually just gonna take off my makeup really quick because I just wanna be comfy and there's no reason for me to have makeup on right now. And usually I use the Ole Daily Facial Wipe, but I've been testing out this Burst Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. You can get this at Target. And it's just one of those like makeup melters. I only really do this when I have like extra time to like take my makeup off and I can be patient with it. So I still definitely use my Olay Daily Facial Whips just cause they're like so fast. But sometimes I just feel like I'm tugging on my skin when I'm like wiping with a cloth. So that is why I kind of wanted to try this stuff out. We aren't really buying too many groceries just because I'm literally leaving on Thursday. So I think we're going to get some wings from this place called BD Riley's. They have really good wings, but I forgot what flavor I like. I literally look like a raccoon right now. Wings and paradise. It's Wednesday morning and we just set up the Bissell like little robot thing. That's why it's kind of noisy in here. It's just kind of like roaming around the apartment, but I am vacuuming first and then we're gonna try the mopping setting. And I'm really excited for that, especially because I just feel like there's like random little dirt marks in here and I could definitely clean it myself, but you know, that just takes time. So I feel like this is a very big step for us to have our own little vacuum robot and Ryan's over there watching it like a freaking dad. <laughs> 
He was just like, wow. Sophie was doing really good at first, but then she just started barking at it, and I'm like, let's be nice. What do you have to say? You like the vacuum? Yeah, it's full. Cool. Saves me some time around here. You. I do all the chores. <laughs> pretty smart, isn't it? Yeah, it actually already looks cleaner in here. I just switched the vacuum over to mop mode, which is the exciting part because that's what really needs to be done. But honestly, the vacuum was so good. Like, it already looks so much cleaner. I don't know how often i'm gonna like use this thing like obviously probably once a week for sure i sprayed some stuff on the floor but it also has like water in there and like formula in there so i think it's like getting it all soapy as you can see the time has come to actually pack for nola so here we go a lot of the stuff i'm bringing is from my most recent princess polly haul this dress is so stunning I'm not sure if I'll be able to wear it though because I feel like it's gonna be really hot. If you guys watch my Princess Polly haul, you'll probably recognize like all of this stuff. This orange bodysuit is going to be so perfect for Nola. I'm so mm. excited. And then this green button down. Also, this button down. I thought I was gonna save it for Nashville, but I think I'm just gonna bring it to Nola and see if I wanna wear it then. Something that's not Princess Polly is this airy jumpsuit that I showed in my last vlog. I think I'm gonna bring it just for like a dressier night or even like a daytime outfit. I'm honestly trying to get away with the least amount of trying stuff on, which, which I know might not be the smartest thing to do, but honestly, I just like wanna pack, get it over with, be done with it. So I just tried on the skirt. So I was like, honestly, I've been fluctuating with my weight because I haven't been eating the healthiest and I couldn't remember if this was loose or tight. It actually fits pretty good. This is um, a skirt from Princess Polly. I'm going with a big girl group and it's one of my friend's birthdays, Taylor, and she like organized everything. She sent us a long like notes app thing that said like what we should wear, but I, I like don't even know what business casual and like, I don't know, like fancy even like really is, but she just sent pictures of like what she's actually gonna wear, so I'm trying to base it off of the pictures. She didn't really wear many jean shorts, so I'm trying to like find bottoms that are not jean shorts, but that I can also wear like my cute little tank tops and body suits and all of that. So I think this could be a good substitute for jean shorts. Listening to a podcast just makes this a little easier. Right now I'm listening to What We Said podcast. I freaking love JC. You guys know, and Chelsea's pregnant and they just revealed what she's having. So that was really exciting. But I wanted to show you guys these packing cubes that I literally cannot travel without. This is like the bigger one and it comes with all of these packing cubes. It honestly just makes traveling so much easier when you're like living out of a suitcase, even just for a weekend. I just kind of put like all my outfits in here and then whatever doesn't fit, then I just go down a size. Then I'll use one for like bras and then socks and underwear and everything like that, just so everything's a bit more organized. So I will link these in the description box. They're just on Amazon. And this is what it looks like after everything's in there. Moved to the bathroom, trying to get my makeup and just like toiletries all together. But I wanted to show you guys my favorite new lip oil. I feel like there's so many lip oils out there right now, like Kosas, obviously that's like a really famous one. I have one from Merit Beauty, but this one is from Burst. Let me show you. There you go, it's a little bit dirty, but it is so good, and out of all of those, I've actually tried all of them. This is by far my favorite formula. I don't know why, it like really does feel moisturizing. It almost feels like a lip gloss. Not like super sticky, but like kind of just like thick, and I like it. I love putting this over like lip liner whenever I do my makeup. I'll put lip liner, do this, and just smack my lips, and it just looks so natural, so gotta carry that in my makeup bag um and then i'm gonna do skincare next but right now i'm just working on my makeup bag and it's funny because every time i like come to my makeup bag to pack it up i'm just like okay what can i get rid of i'm always wanting to be like a minimalist but it just can't happen like that's just not my makeup routine so <laughs> that sucks but it's all good i love doing my makeup I am really sad though because I literally made a crazy 
large order on Sephora. I just like was feeling the urge. I wanted a couple products and then I was like, I just wanna try a couple more new things. There's just so many new brands out there and so many new products, obviously. I checked on when it should get here. It literally said it was gonna be delivered on Wednesday, which is today. And I was like, what the heck? That is crazy because I'm pretty sure I, I maybe ordered it on Sunday, but I don't know. I just thought that was really fast for Sephora. Of course, they had a warehouse delay. There was an option to pick it up in the store in Barton Creek, but I was like, if it's going to be here before my trip, like might as well just get it shipped to me so I don't have to go to Barton Creek, but it's not here. So now I'm pissed. <laughs> I also don't understand how people do the whole carry on thing when they have to bring their makeup in it because I feel like a lot of my stuff is liquids and I kind of want to try to pack a carry-on. We'll see if it actually happens. I'm flying American Airlines and I think the first bag checked is like $30, which honestly isn't that bad, especially compared to other ones. But you know, if I could save some money, why not? I just put on a comfy dress because I think me and Ryan are going to get sushi tonight at Sushi Janai. It's like all you can eat sushi. I really just want their nigiri. I've like learned how to be strategic about it because the first couple of times I went, I ordered way too much and then you feel like shit. And then if you leave like extra rolls on the table, you have to like pay extra. So that's why I just get nigiri because I feel like it fills you up, but you can like have a lot, you know? But if you get like the fried rolls, it's like one and done. Like you're, you're done and then you just paid $30 or something for one roll, so. It's really just a game, but yeah, that's why I'm wearing a comfy dress. This is from Shop Red Dress. I don't know if it's on the site anymore, but I will look and try to link it down below just cause it's like literally my go-to dress. In the last vlog, I showed you guys that polka dot kind of cream dress. It's kind of similar to this from Amazon actually. And that's gonna be my new go-to dress. It's, it's pretty much exactly like this. It kind of has like a little higher of a, v-neck um so it's not as revealing i actually just posted a reel on this but i wanted to show you guys this really cute hairstyle that i've been doing lately so basically ooh, i need a hair tie got my invisible bubble scrunchie first thing you want to do is like take these little hairs in the front and you're seeing two little ones from your bangs and then you will take your hair and just put it in a half a half down and you're literally just going to take your claw clip Kind of like bend it like that and put it right here. And then this hair just goes on top of the cloth. I love the way it looks from the side. I think it's so cute. It is 8.30, I finished packing and then my computer was doing some weird shit. Like I was supposed to like do some work, but then it was being weird. My charger stopped working, so I had to buy a new one of those, which was fun. I've just been chilling, trying not to worry about my computer. Um, and I actually was able to fit everything in that carry-on thing. And then my Herschel like little duffel tote kind of thing. I'm very proud of myself. I'm guessing I'm probably just going to do the whole carry-on situation since everything fit in there. I want to say this is like my first time ever having like just a carry-on and not a checked bag. Well, maybe like when I was little obviously, but like ever since I started flying, I've always checked bags because I'm an overpacker and it's okay, you know, you just gotta be self-aware. We're gonna go to sushi still, it's pretty late and they close at 10, so we're just gonna be getting our sushi fix before I go to NOLA. I totally forgot to end the vlog last night, so I wanted to do that really quick. Today is the day we're going to NOLA, so definitely subscribe down below for more vlogs, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!